Hey guys, so I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a out of the woods music video analysis sort of thing and everyone said they did. So I'm going to be doing that today. Out of the woods music video is extremely symbolic and it's very deep and etc. And a couple people don't get it, which I understand because I think you kind of have to know a lot about Taylor to almost understand the video. So first of all, I think the wolves symbolize the paparazzi because for obvious reasons, you know, they're always chasing her, trying to get at her. They only have bad intentions. They don't want to help her anywhere, in any way. They are not trying to be nice to her. They are chasing her through every aspect of her life, everywhere she goes, every single time the situation changes. They're always there, always chasing her, always trying to get a hold of her no matter what. Um, and then I think the branches, the branches that come up and entangle her all the time, those to me represent public opinion because it's ever changing. You know, you they coil around her, they control her, they pull her here and there, and there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, which is so true of public opinion of her. And the funny thing about that is, like it shows in the music video, one second, she's in the mud and now dragging her through the mud. The vines are pulling her into the mud and pulling her down and just tearing her apart. And literally, the next shot, they have her on this pedestal thing where she's like, posing majestically and she's on literally on a pedestal put up by the vines and I think that is very symbolic of public opinion because one second everyone is admiring her and praising her and calling her a queen and the next they hate her and they're dragging her through the dirt and they're just saying the most awful things about her and I think that is a very powerful image. Um, I think that the seasons, her changing seasons so often, probably represents either the changing, the ever-changing status of the relationship that she's talking about, alternatively, just her life, if you're just talking about her. It could be every sort of emotion she feels is completely different, it's snowing and everything's on fire, it represents sort of how unsettled the relationship really is um, or her life because it could just represent her life honestly um, I think the dress okay the dress is interesting because a lot of people have shared their opinions with me saying that they believe that the dress symbolizes Taylor and every time she every time a piece of it gets ripped off it's representing a piece of her being ripped away but I'm not I think I, I kind of disagree with that my opinion of the dress is I think it symbolizes almost her cover-up that she puts up to protect herself I think that you know right in the beginning it's a long dress and it's got sort of sleeves it's it, co it covers her up quite a bit and I think there's something quite symbolic about the less you wear, the more vulnerable you are in a certain way. Because nudity can be seen as vulnerability because you're completely exposed. And I think the dress kind of represents the level of exposure she, exposure she has. So right in the beginning, it's pretty long. She's pretty covered up. And then as she starts running... Firstly, the vine, so public opinion per se, grabs a piece of the dress and pulls it off. Wolves grab a piece of the, the dress and pull it off. And every single season, everything pulls pieces of it off until she's lying in the mud. And by the time she's lying in the mud, she's in a quite short dress with just strappy sleeves. And um, I think it's kind of ripping away put in place to protect herself she didn't want didn't want the public to know about her personal life to know about her relationships 
and when they found out, it took a little piece of her away. When the paparazzi started taking pictures of her and her friends or her boyfriends or whatever, it pulled a little piece of her away. And then I think the seasons, if you think the seasons represent stages in her life, perhaps, or emotions or anything, everything she goes through pulls something off until she's in this little dress and she's quite exposed and I feel like that's how she feels about where she is in her life right now. She feels she's exposed to the world, that the world knows most of her emotions, most of the things she goes through on a daily basis. Different interpretation. Um, it, that she thinks she's trying to almost address the fact that she is not always perfect. She, not, she doesn't always live this perfect life. And my mom brought up the point that no one really takes her seriously. And I completely agree with that because people see this girl, this beautiful girl that's so talented and so smart, and they think there's no way in hell she's real or relatable. Everyone thinks she's putting on an act because they don't believe that they don't believe that someone can be as flawless as she appears because that is just an appearance. You, you know, first impressions are not everything. And I think that she kind of is trying to tell people, you know, I'm not, I'm not that perfect person all the time. I'm not, that's who I look like is not who I actually am. I'm human. I'm not perfect. Um, so the most interesting question I've been asked about the music video was actually from my mom, who at the end paused the video when Taylor in the short dress and mud was walking up to herself by the sea to go and find herself. And she, in that frame of, you know, Taylor perfect and Taylor covered in dirt, she paused it and said, ask me which one do I think represents her true self more and I think that's an interesting question do do they both represent her was she in one place and in, is now in another or are they both parts of her that are always there or is the perfectness something that's put on and she's you know it, which what is your interpretation of that and I just I wanted to bring that up because I thought that was a really thought-provoking um so anyway that's it I think yeah um so thank you so much for watching if you did and taking your time to hear my strange opinions and um yeah i hope you agreed with some of them and found some of the stuff thought provoking thank you bye